welcome to Hong Kong Network where you get updates of things happening around you. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, I say thank you very much because I know that at the end of this news, you are going to subscribe. And I want you to press the red button and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. Thank you very much once again. Tinumbu among promoters of Ruga, says Udumake. Afeni Ferry Chieftain Ginka Udumake says all progresses Congress Chieftain. Bola Tinumbu is one of the promoters of the Ruga Initiative, which seeks to give free land to S-men for grazing, cattle, and other forms of animal husbandry. Udumake drew the attention of Nigerians to Tinumbu's speech at a national summit on conflict resolution organized by the nation and TV Continental with the theme towards an enduring peace. He noted that at the event which aired at the Nigerian Air Force Center, Abuja on October 8, 2018, Tinubu said, The government must help herders gradually shift from their traditional nomadic existence to a more static lifestyle. We have to face the reality that modernity is making the nomadic way counterproductive and inefficient. Unoccupied, isolated land can quickly be turned into grazing areas in the affected state. In the long run, this will enable others to better maintain their livestock and thus their own livelihood. Speaking with a correspondent during an interview on Monday, the Affair Ferry spokesman said it was for this reason that Tinubu could not join other prominent Yoruba leaders in rejecting the Ruga program. Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka, the Are Ono Kakanfo, Otumba Gani Adams, the Oni of Ife, Enitsong, Ugungusi, and other prominent Nigerians have all condemned the scheme. Odumaki said, It will be a waste of time to expect Tinubu to say anything on the Ruga matter. Don't forget that in 2018 it was reported in the punch that he said all unused land should be given to S men for grazing. I spoke up then, but he lambasted me. What we are witnessing today is a manifestation of what he said. So how can he come out today to oppose Ruga? He had advocated Ruga. To expect Ashiwaju to speak against Ruga is like expecting a shadow to shed tears. It will never happen. The Afeni Ferry spokesman also noted that the Ruga Initiative and the National Livestock Development Plan being handled by Vice President Yemi Oshibaju were not different from each other, as claimed by President Muhammadu Buhari's spokesman, Garba Shehu. Efforts to get a reaction from Tinubu proved abortive as his spokesman, Tunde Rahman, did not respond to a text message sent to his phone. We need to really be careful, really be careful, because... There are some people people are really expecting, you know, to make comments on this uh, issue of Ruga, even as their people have really been coming out to say, you know, this is what we want and making their interest known to the public. The people that we have been seeing from or we've been hearing from them, you know, from the southwest, just like uh, Yen Kaudumaki said, um, one of the people, uh, one of the people is um, Areono Kakanfu. He has been really vocal. Areono Kakanfo of Yoruba land, Gani Adams, he has really been vocal on this thing. You can see his own state. You can see his own stand on this matter. Even uh, Professor Wale Shinkatsu and even the Oni of Ife, just like uh, Yinka Odumaki has said. But it's really baffling because truly we've not heard anything from Ashiwa Yubola Tinubu. Even as people are crying, even that the, this Esme, they really enter Southwest, you know, they are now there comfortably doing their operation. And that was why you could hear Ghani Adams. He has been speaking. The area of has really been speaking about this thing. And people have been, you know, criticizing him that he wants to was up power to himself. That who does he think he is? That who gave him a mandate to be speaking on behalf of Yoruba? That is a chief state, a, his title or whatever is just, you know, based on, you know, it's restricted to or your state. That's what the people are trying to say. And even uh, the professor himself, Wale Shoyinkatu, has been speaking. But the worst part of it is that the same people that they are speaking on their behalf, they are even considering, they are the same people that will still be castigating them. The only himself has really spoken about it, that they don't even want to gather. Everybody should be careful. But 
one of the people that this uh, Southwest look up to, who is who they say is a leader, uh, Bola Tinobu, has never spoken any word. He has never spoken any word, whether he, he likes it or he does not like it, or even to even condemn the, the invasion, you know, in the Southwest, you know, the farmers' invasion of their uh, into their farms. He has not really spoken anything, even when people are. Uh, crying that they are being killed or they are being molested, they are being kidnapped, you know, asking them to pay, uh, you know, for ransom. He has never spoken any word. Even we could see that uh, the governors, they are just, you know, holding meetings and all of that. None of them have spoken or maybe said any categorical statement. The only person I've heard about, you know, that I've spoken about is truly, is uh, Akere Dolu, the governor of Ondo State. He made, he, uh, he made it clear that Ondo State will never go in the way of Ruga because they have ranches already that can really create employment. Since they are talking about employment, the federal government is just hammering on employment that, that that's one of the gains of uh, this uh, Ruga thing that is going to curb a, a crime or the clashes between the farmers and elders and it's going to create employment for the, you know, for the youth. But he has come out to say, no, we have uh, ranches already that we need to really pump money to, we need to really concentrate on. I think it's one of the um, governors in the southwest that has really spoken, but you know, um, Bola Tinubu is a is a big figure from the southwest. It's really a big figure. Even in Nigeria, is a big figure that even when he says something, people will you know tend to listen to him. He has never said anything, even about the killings to you know affecting the southwest people. Apart from Ghani Adams, who has really been speaking, so he has never said anything, and it's still the same thing. And that was the same question. Fani Kayode, true to Abubaka, Atiku Abubaka, that you, that, you know, we believe that you are part of people who is saying, you know, echoing, restructuring. You have never said anything concerning this ruga. And we know people that have really been speaking. At least we needed to hear from your own side. But to my, in my own opinion, Atiku did not answer that question. He has come out to say, you know, it goes with the, what the PDP governors have said. That some of the PDP governor has said that they don't want this Ruga, that he's he aligning himself with that. No, you need to come out and say what you feel about it. He was like, you know, he doesn't want to give attention to the ultimatum that this uh, Northern Youth uh, gave, that there is nothing like South, there is nothing like uh, North, there is nothing like uh, Middle Bet or whatever, that there's one Nigeria. That is a political statement. In my opinion, if you ask me, that is a political statement. He has not really made his own stand known. That maybe if you are condemning this thing, okay, these are the you know, uh, solutions that you know that could really help the situation on ground. He has never said anything, but he's just trying to say he's aligning his own thoughts or his own opinion to what the governor of uh, PDP governors have said. No, that is not you know a categorical statement. We need to know where you belong. But those ways are really political and they are so diplomatic. So it's still the same thing that. Uh, Yunka Udumaki is trying to say that there's no way Tinumbu will come out and say it's not for Ruga because before, and according to what Yunka Udumaki said, according to what he quoted that Tinumbu said in a summit that was held in 2018, that a, a header should be given land, you know, so that they will stop this their nomadic, you know, lifestyle and, you know, to be able to curb insecurity and all the clashes between them and the farmers. So if Atiyah Ishiwayu uh, Bola Tinubu had said that before now, there is no way he can come out and say he doesn't want Truga. So based on that, that is why in Kaudumaki is saying Tinubu is one of the promoters of a Ruga. And if you look at it, you know, clearly you will see that he has not said anything concerning whether the kidnapping or the uh, the act actions or the activities of these S-men in the Southwest. In the Southwest, when a lot of group, you know, have really been coming out to, to protest that we don't want this, we don't want that. But to my, in my own opinion, the only person that I know that has really been speaking about this thing is a Areono Kakanfu of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams. So we don't know what it's going to say about this. Since uh, the journalists, they've tried to contact the spokesperson, but the call, you know, proved abortive. They couldn't really get him. But definitely, I know in one of these days, it's going to come out to respond to what Odumaki has said and will know his stand on this issue. So, guys, that is just my opinion concerning the accusation of what 
Yunka is talking about about the about Sinumbu. So I would like to hear your opinion too. Let's you have let's have your take by putting down your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for always listening. Bye.